So glad you could join us on the Weather Network. And uh, we've got, we're going to go west to east here. We're going to start off Whistler, British Columbia. When you think of Whistler, you think of snow. But this latest Pineapple Express brought those freezing levels above the tops of Whistler Blackcomb, and the rain was coming down. Thank you, Brad, for braving the elements. Said it was a brutal brutal drive through there. Uh, 52 and a half millimeters of rain fell in Whistler yesterday alone. That, while that was happening, Abbotsford, British Columbia in the Fraser Valley, 18.2 degrees. That was in the evening hours. That's not normal for January. That's not normal even in the springtime. And in Edmonton's International Airport, the number to beat today, 9.9 .9 degrees. And we have a forecast of 12, so you may also be breaking a monthly record. Daily records, I don't chase. There, they ha There's too many of them. Although there were multiple of them yesterday in BC through the Yukon as well. Very mild air. So this warmth and these rainstorms have been powered by a series of storms emanating from the Hawaiian Islands. That's why we call them the Pineapple Express. Hawaii is the pineapple state. And these are just not your normal run-of-the-mill rainstorms. You know, people on Twitter, ah, back in my day, we called it rain. Yeah, no, this is rain, but not just a sea level in the mountain. So there's your next one right there. We've got a little bit of a lull, so more rain is coming. Picking up early Wednesday morning, Vancouver Island, the lower mainland. Again, not a lot of blue on here. Now, as this system finally moves inland through Thursday, we may see rain change to snow back in Whistler Blackcomb, but the heaviest rain will once again be for coastal areas. And look at those freezing levels finally getting back to back to more normal levels by the end of the week where it rains in the city and it snows up in the hills. And also, we're going to get some sunny breaks. So this is going to be a welcome relief. Finally, Mother Nature is going to turn the taps off, but that's not going to happen until after Thursday because we've got one more storm to get through. So we got flood watches, we got flood warnings along uh, the Chicamas, Squamish and Sumas rivers. Flood warnings are in place, flood watches for other areas of the south coast and all over Vancouver Island. Warm air though, this is one of the beneficiaries of these, uh, these uh, systems hitting BC. So Chinook winds, northern Alberta likely as warm as southern Alberta today. Tomorrow the south will hang on to that warm air. Just a touch cooler in Saskatchewan t tomorrow versus today. I mean, Swift Current 16 today, Regina 12. So very, very warm. So how much longer could it last? Well, for BC and Alberta, the cool down begins this weekend. But really back to more seasonal values. Ontario and Quebec temperatures are going to be, well, near and slightly above seasonal. In Toronto, it was certainly nice to see some sunshine yesterday after days and days of cloud cover. Uh, we may see a few flurries today today in Toronto, but further west towards the Huron shores, a uh, two to five centimeters, Georgian Bay as well. Sun cloud mix in Montreal and Quebec temperatures minus seven, minus eight. Again, there's your flurries, your light snow. We've had close to five centimeters in Sault Ste. Marie already. And Whitehorse, by the way, one of those areas that have been breaking temperature records for warmth. You're going right back down into the freezer and in Calgary, perhaps some much needed snow, certainly cooler temperatures this weekend and next week. Thank you.